Hi, so we have one more number pattern to solve. And here the pattern is 0, 6, 24, 60. And then there is a blank space. Then we have 210. And then again we have a blank space. So as you know, we have to use 210 as our checkpoint, right? And what is the first step we follow? Yes. First thing we do is we find the differences between two consecutive terms, right? So if we find the difference between second term and first term, we have 6 minus 0. This is equal to 6. Then we have 24 minus 6. This is equal to 14 minus 6, 8 and 1, 18. Then we have 60 minus 24. This will become 10 and this will become 5. So 10 minus 4 is 6 and 5 minus 2 is 3. So these are the differences, right? But these differences are not looking good. There is not any particular logic among these differences. See, this 6 3s are 18, but 18 2s are 36, right? This we are getting if we multiply 6 by 3, but this we are getting if we multiply it by 2, right? And if we follow this logic, our difference should become constant. The next difference should be 36 multiplied by 1. Right, 3, 2, 1, if we assume that it is decreasing. But this 210 is very big and I don't think it can be achieved by adding 36 twice to 60. So let's try to get another logic for this pattern. So I'm removing these differences. So now let's have a look over the numbers without finding the differences. So the series we have is 0, 6, 24, 60. Right. And if we see it properly, I think it is closer to the cube of the places. The cube of 1 is 1 and 0 is very close to 1. And the cube of 2 is 8, right? And 6 is close to 8. And the cube of 3 is 27. And the cube of 4 is 64. So I think this will help us in finding our logic. So now let me write these terms of the pattern vertically. I am writing it as 0, 6. This is the first term. This is the second term. Then we have T3 is equal to 24. Then we have T4 is equal to 60. Right. So this is, I think, 1 cube minus 1. Can it be written as 2 cube minus 2? Yes, 2 cube is 8 and minus 2 gives us 6. Right, and 24, T3. So cube of 3 is 27 and minus 3 gives us 24. Right. And cube of 4 minus 4 will be cube of 4 is 4 for 16 and 16 multiplied by 4 is 64 minus 4. Yes, this also gives us 60. So the fifth term should be cube of 5 minus 5. And cube of 5 is 5 5 is 25 multiplied by 5 is 125 minus 5. So it should be 120, right? Let me underline this. And as we have decided that we are going to use 210 as our checkpoint. So since this is the sixth term, it should be equal to cube of 6 minus 6. So cube of 6, 6 multiplied by 6 is 36. And 36 multiplied by 6, 6, 6 are 36. 3 carried forward, 6 3 is 18, 19, 20, 21, 21. So this will be 216 minus 6. Yes, we are getting 210, right? So what will be 7th term? 7th term will be T7 and this will be equal to 
cube of 7 minus 7. Cube of 7 is 7 7 is a 49 and 49 multiplied by 7. 7 9 is a 63. 7 4 is a 28 plus 6 34. 343 right so this will be equal to 343 minus 7. 13 minus 7 is 6 3 and 3 so this term should be 120 and this blank space will be filled with 336 right yes so these are the numbers for the blank spaces and now let us write the generalized form for this pattern. So I think writing the generalized form for this pattern will be very easy. So let me make some space over here to write the generalized form. Tn can be written as n cube minus n. See here to find the third term we are finding the cube of 3 and then we are subtracting 3 and here to find the fourth term we are finding the cube of 4 and then we are subtracting 4 right so to find the nth term we have to find the cube of n and then we have to subtract n right so this is the generalized form and these two are the terms or these two are the numbers which will fill blank spaces